Welcome. We shall introduce ourselves to the basic concepts of internet based programming. Now, by the end of this tutorial, you should be able to uh, describe or explain internet based programming. You should be able to describe the World Wide Web. You should be able to explain what is meant by web programming. You should be able to describe the various approaches to web programming should be able to identify web programming languages and lastly you should be able to explain the criteria for choosing web programming language or to begin with we introduce ourselves to certain terminologies that are commonly used in this unit obviously the first one is internet what do you mean by internet <coughs> it is a global computer network providing a variety of information and communication facilities consisting of interconnected networks using standardized communication protocols. Now, the Internet offers a number of services to Internet users, and these include email, that is usually a very fast and easy way of communicating between Internet users. We have Telnet that allows a user to log into a remote computer as though it were a local system. We have FTP, that is File Transfer Protocol, that allows users to transfer files over the Internet. Usenet News is a bulletin board that offers communication news and discussion services. The World Wide Web is another service offered by the Internet that offers what we call hypertext interface or for Internet information resources. The next terminology is the website. We've commonly used this in our discussions. Our website is a group of globally accessible interlinked web pages which have a single domain name. For instance, www.ktc.ac.ke is a website that consists of several web pages that have that single domain name. So it is a collection of several pages that are interlinked. Now, a website can be developed and maintained by an individual, a business, or an organization. It is usually hosted in a single or multi-web server that is accessible via a network and a computer network for that matter. A web server, on the other hand, is a, is a computer that hosts the website with the computer on which a website sits. The web server is usually connected to the internet and is given a unique address. It is usually accessed via a web browser. A web browser is an application that is used to display web pages over the internet. And examples of web browsers include Chrome, Mozilla, Microsoft Edge, Opera, Flock, ETC, ETC, there are so many, a Safari, amongst others. We have the term web application. A web application is a software or a program which is accessible using any web browser. And web applications are used to implement webmail, online retail sales, discussion forums, online auctions, web blogs, etc. Web applications have become popular due to the fact that they can easily be accessed via browsers. Again, the other reason why it has gained popularity is due to the fact that they can easily be updated and maintained without necessarily distributing and installing it in every client. The other term is web page. A web page is a single document that is available on the World Wide Web. It contains information that may include text, graphics, audio, video, or links 
to other web pages and you've come across this i'm sure when browsing now a collection of several web pages together is known as a website there are two types of web pages we have static web page and dynamic web page now a static web page are loaded on the client browser as exactly as they are stored on the web server they only contain static information and are written using HTML only. Dynamic web page, on the other hand, uh, is one whose content may change at different points in time. It is possible to change the content of a dynamic web page without loading the entire page. Now, the question again that we need to ask ourselves, so we need to understand, is the role that a website plays in an organization or an institution. Or the question we may need to ask again is, why would an organization or an institution have a website? Now, the following reasons <coughs> uh, may be or may apply in such a case. Business may want to be open 24 hours in a week. The other advantage, the role of a website to an organization is that it increases the customer base. It leads to what uh, we call Trembena's cost saving. It offers advertising opportunities since through websites uh, people may advertise for products or services that they offer it helps an organization to brand its business it is an effective way to showcase products and services now who is a web developer a web developer is an IT an IT or information technology uh, professional who does or creates a website or a web or web applications using web-based scripting languages what are the roles of a web developer he's the one who creates the web designs the web he develops the site and hosts it on a web server he creates the internal structure of the website and makes it functional the web developer simplifies the process of transferring data between the browser and the server he works closely with the web design team and gives the needed inputs to make the website functional. What are other roles? He is responsible for writing testable and efficient code. He takes control of the framework the server-side functions, business logic of the website. He performs routine site maintenance when needed. He's also responsible for how a specific website appears and works. What are the available career opportunities? For those who are interested in pursuing web development, these are the available amongst others. We have being a web content developer you could be a web designer you could be a front-end developer you could be a web architect there's so other there's so many other opportunities that are there in this particular area let's uh, discuss the world wide web as a service what is it? The World Wide Web is a repository of information that spreads all over the world and is linked together for easy access. We can also define the World Wide Web or shortly or referred to as WWW as a collection of documents and services distributed across the internet and linked together by hyperlinks. The web is therefore a subset of the internet though not the same thing. We can also say it is made up of documents called pages that contain 
text, pictures, forms, sound, animation, and hyperlinks into rich communication medium. Web programming. What is web programming? It refers to the writing, markup, and coding involved in the web development, which includes web content, web client, server scripting, and network security. Another term that we may come across is web development. This refers to the building of websites and deploying them on the web for public consumption. Web development requires use of scripting languages both at the server and at the client. For you to understand this, you may need to do some study on the client server model. Scripting languages that we've mentioned that can be used either on the client or the server. What are these? Scripting languages are like programming languages that allow us to write programs in forms of scripts. Scripts are interpreted, not compiled, and are executed line by line. They do not need compilers, and most browsers have interpreters embedded in them. Scripting languages is used to create dynamic web pages. What are the approaches to web programming? Web programming can be briefly categorized into two approaches. One, client-side scripting, and this refers to the programs that are written or executed on the client side. Number two is the server-side scripting that refers to the programs that are executed on the server side. They act as an interface for the client and also limit the user access or lim also meet the user access. Sorry, it acts as an interface for the client and also limits how the user access the sources on the web server. It can also collect information. It can also collect the user's characteristics in order to customize the response. Scripting languages are categorized into two. What are they? We've already said we have the client-side scripting languages and server-side scripting languages. What are the examples? We have JavaScript, ActionScript, VVScript, Dart, etc. amongst others. We have server-side scripting languages. These include ASP, PHP, Python, and Java. What are the factors to consider when choosing a programming language now that there are a number of them? The following are some of the factors. Popularity. How popular is the language that you want to use? What is a uh, uh, language domain match? The language that you are planning to use, does it match the domain for which you want to develop your application? Availability of libraries. Are there availabilities, uh, uh, other libraries that are available within that programming language that will be helpful when you're developing your application. How efficient is the programming or the scripting language that you want to choose? What is the project size? There are some languages that cannot uh, be used for developing big, big uh, projects. Does it have the necessary tools? That is, have the database tools and some other tools that you may need in your application. So those are the questions or the factors that you may need to consider uh, when choosing a particular programming language uh, that you may want to use to develop your application. And that marks the end of the unit. Uh, thank you very much.